Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Ooh! Are we rolling tape on that? Oh, there you go. Uh, you got a brush? Yeah. Just a one finger victory salute. Let's do it. Let's go full steam potato. Full steam Joe Biden. Tapioca in the pants. Let's do that because that's going to be hilarious to watch. The Kamala Harris campaign is such an utter implosion or in an utter implosion, an implosion concert being played out for the rest of us to watch and hear and smell that they're sitting there going, who who should we get next to endorse this train wreck? Liz Cheney, let's do that. Liz Cheney. Yeah, no, Liz Cheney's got the power and the strength of the Republican Party that she'll certainly... For, she'll, Wyoming threw that chick out by like 43 points. <laughs> you got Adam Kinzinger who cries like a bitch. You've got uh, Liz Cheney. Then you went and got her dad. <laughs> she got her dad. Dick Cheney's telling everybody, I'll shoot you in the face, you vote for come on, yes, I'll shoot you in the face. And how's that worked out, by the way? Not great. Kamala Harris Kamala Harris lost white dudes. She lost black dudes. She lost gay dudes, Puerto Rican dudes. She lost all of them. They said they go, okay, well, the way to stem this, this bleeding over here, let's get George Bush. No. Well, yeah, no, actually, oh, no, do it. Please, please no. what am I talking about? Go for it. That's going to be hilarious. I was a Democrat because of George Bush. The dude's blowing up places. Telling me that three towers in New York City fell down because two planes hit them? Get out of here. Get out of here. He's torturing people, spying on me? Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Now, now as a MAGA, dude over here, the fact that you're going to bring out George Bush's granddaughter in an attempt to float the Kamala turd is absolutely fascinating to me. Absolutely fascinating. And this is, they testing the waters over here. The reason why they got the granddaughter, or George uh, W. Bush's daughter over here, is because if this doesn't completely, completely, like a submarine implosion, destroy the numbers, then they'll bring out George Bush, because they've got nothing left to lose at this point. Because they think that this is a good idea. These, these globalists are showing everybody that they all in bed together. I, I mean, come on. Clinton... Big Mike Obama, the Bushes, they all love partying at the same diddler parties, boys. Allegedly, of course, Minecraft, but here you go. George W. Bush's daughter, Barbara, hits the campaign trail for Kamala Harris. And what's fascinating about this is all these lefties, right? So they'll sit there and they'll go, uh, you got to vote for Kamala Harris. Look, even George Bush's daughter is voting for her because Donald Blump is not. He did a Nazi rally, just like 1939's Nazi rally. Madison Square Garden, he's a Nazi. Meanwhile... Prescott Bush, the the dad to uh, George H.W., the the grandfather to George W. Bush, was a literal Nazi. He was an American working with the Nazis, giving them jet fuel, giving them oil, selling it to them while they're attacking us. He had to put together the USO shows to hide the fact that he was a Nazi collaborator. That's why his son was running the CIA later on. That's why they're running the, the, the... They're all deep state globalist monsters working together. They're all evil people, man. And so now they're going to f- send this chick out there to get more votes for Kamala Harris so Kamala Harris can continue the trend of globalization, which is destroying everything. Raising crime, destroying your neighborhood, getting your house sold off to Vanguard and BlackRock. Destroy the economy and make you miserable. Don't let them do it. Vote for Trump. And if you need help with your financing, go to American Financing. Today's economic environment is still really stressful for a lot of us, but the Fed finally dropping interest rates. There is no better time than right now to put you and your family in a better financial position. If you're a homeowner, American Financing is helping thousands of families just like you who have been putting everyday expenses on credit cards get out from underneath that debt by tapping into their home's equity. American Financing is saving their borrowers over $800 a month on average. $800 a month is like a $10,000 raise at work, and it costs absolutely nothing to find out how much you can save. They are closing some in as little as 10 days, and if you start today, you may not have to make next month's mortgage payment. There's no better time than right now to turn your situation around. Call today, 866-889-889. 
866-889-8010. That's 866-889-8010. Or visit AmericanFinancing.net slash salty. So here's why they're so panicking and they're resorting to getting a bush out there. And I'm absolutely convinced that this is testing the waters for they think that this is some sort of coup de grace. They're going to bring George W. out. Well, George w, even George W. over here is endorsing Kamala Harris. Now go vote for it. This is this is they are testing the waters. I'm absolutely convinced because all hell has broken out with the Kamala Harris campaign. Here you've got them just openly, uh, flagrantly breaking the law in Pennsylvania. They have the Democrats have sent in dudes. With limp wrists and little little voter protection identification cards. And they are going out to the, these areas where Republicans are voting in mass, early voting. We switched up the game over here. The reason why they were able to steal 2020 from us is because we all voted day of. Because that's in a legitimate society, that's how you vote. Day of. In person. With voter ID. And then they dip your whole fucking hand in ink. Right? It's no shenanigans. Every place does this in the world, right? So on 20, uh, in 2020, they just broke all the machines the day of. Broke all the machines. There was no paper. There were no pens. You couldn't vote. And they were able to steal the election. Now we switched it up. We've adapted, and we're doing early voting over here. We're, we're, we're over here utilizing this aspect that the left never thought we would use. So now they're panicking. And the early voting going out there is either rival in places like Pennsylvania, Michigan, Arizona. You guys are outpacing the Democrats early voting. That's got these people panicking, panicking. So now they're setting ballot drop boxes on fire and they're sending out fake poll workers, right? Soy infused scumbags over here with little bad death. And they're telling people to leave. Telling people to leave. They should be arrested immediately. Find your local sheriff and arrest this person and every single one of the people doing this. Arrest them and threaten them with 80 years of prison unless they give up. Who told them to do this? Work your way up the chain and you're going to hit Kamala Harris, George Bush, and George Soros. But this is Colin Rogue over here. Breaking election officials are pushing people out of line in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, telling them to come back later. So... Here you've got Democrats pretending, right? These are Democrats running around Bucks County with badges trying to pretend like they're election officials. They're not election officials. So they go out. Democrats tell – they go out to the lines. They tell people to leave. Then Republicans run down there and say, no, 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 don't leave. Don't leave. That person – that's not a that's not a, that's not not an election worker. That's not a legitimate person doing this. Don't do that. Don't leave. Then the police come and arrest the Republican for telling people not to leave. The this dude on a cost of this is this is the criminality of the left. This is the this is the depths that they will go to. They're telling their side that Donald Trump is laterally Hitler, literally Hitler's worse, literally worse than Hitler. So it's okay if we fortify an election. Meanwhile, they'll go get the granddaughters and the great granddaughters of straight up Nazis. To go out there and campaign for Kamala Harris. Fascinating time to be alive. We can't let these people win. We need to make America great again and then arrest all of these fools and send them. I don't know. Let's 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 give them to Russia. Russia wants them. Russia will take good care of them. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching the video. Support you. You're kept to date with these scumbags. Hit that subscribe button and make way. Because the salt must flow.